You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. So we are out and about at the Sheppey Dance Classic down in Laysdown at Merlins and we're joined with uh, Tony. It's um, good to speak to you, Tony. Yeah, it's great to speak to you, uh, Daniel. Um, mustn't keep meeting like this, Daniel. <laughs> People are going to start talking. <laughs> Well, he's certainly uh, really busy out there today. It is busy. Um, things have picked up and um, we've had an awful lot of uh, late entries, so um, everything is running absolutely fine. We could do with some more entries for tomorrow, though, for the singles. Um, what is actually on today? Today we're playing, uh, at the moment they're playing pairs matches, and then we're just going on to ladies singles and uh, youth singles. So, if we talk about um, tomorrow, which for our listeners will be um, Sunday, um, what actually is the schedule for that? Um, tomorrow is a straight men's singles competition um, where we've got the £6,000 prize fund. Still time to enter if you want to. Um, come along in the morning between um, 9 and half 10 and you can still enter. How many years has the Sheppey Dance Classic been taking place? This is the 11th year, so it's been going well, but it is getting harder. Every year it's getting harder. Companies are finding problems, and um, and we're finding problems getting sponsors. That's it. it must take a, a long time to organise something to this scale. I usually start round about January, and um, we put our feelers out to local companies then to see if they'd be interested, and if they are, we tell them that we'll come back at a later date and talk to them then about um, advertising and sponsorship money. Now, so how can people get in contact with Do they have to wait till a certain time, or if there's someone out there this year that would like to maybe advertise next year, can they approach you? Oh yes, they can certainly approach me as and when they like, and we'll uh, keep all their details down for next year they can um, reach me on my home phone which is 01795 875263 or um, they can email me on cox at at aol.com now you can do that anytime and my home phone has got an answer phone if I'm not there because you've also got a website as well haven't you? Sheppy Darts we have a website as well which is www.sheppydarts.co.uk Tony as always uh, thank you very much for uh, speaking to us and we'll have to catch up with you uh, tomorrow and see how today went yes we will do that we'd be pleased to come in and let you know all the winners from today thank you very much best of luck thank you Right, so we're now joined with uh, Dave Darts and Dempsey. Dave, it's always good to uh, speak to you when you're out and about in the darts. Yeah, it's brilliant. I mean, uh, the tournament is a great tournament. Like, it's, it's a highlight from Sheppey, and uh, I always look forward every year to coming. It's great. So what's it like um, working with the uh, PDC? Ah, working with the guys. Well, it's it's brilliant. You get, I mean, I love darts, which I've been playing since I was 12, and, and it's it's brought on so much you know uh, Phil Taylor has, has brought the standard up so much that people are now meeting that standard and it's it's just brilliant working in that industry you know I'm doing the thing that I love doing so you're uh, calling the darts are you doing that both days here at the yes yes doing it both days um, very it's always a very very high standard at Sheppey which is, is a, it makes it more interesting for everybody but it makes it uh, nice for me as well because you like to call good standard games I think it's always amazing to uh, to come down here because you don't realise probably people don't always realise just what a big thing it is and just how many darts players take place. Still. Yeah, I, again, it's 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 great and you know you get dart players here not only from Kent but all the all the home counties even you know and uh, it's it's lovely like I say to see the standard. It's it's lovely for me to see the standard because I see obviously I see the standard from both sides. I see the PDC games and I see the the the, the, the people that are not quite that high. You know, and uh, the standard's great in both in both sets, um, and I, I really just enjoy doing it all. Dave, as always, thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you very much, Daniel. So we're now talking to uh, Andrew Cox. Uh, it's great to speak to you again. Thank you. Now, um, when we spoke to you uh, last year, you were kind of just starting out, I think. So how have things gone in the last year? Well, in the past year, I've um, tried out for numerous competitions some of which I've gone through to the first round unfortunately got knocked out but I have also been able to make it onto a Thursday league team in Division 1 and a Monday doubles team in Division 2 
so things going well? Things are going really well, thanks, yeah. And I assume you're hoping to do well today? Yeah, I'm hoping to do really well today. There's loads of good people here today, but I'm hoping I can have a good, really good go. Does it feel easier doing it coming back a year later with more experience? Definitely, yeah. I've um, learnt lo loads more new techniques which I can easily do. I'm a lot more focused and I'm a lot more calm. Have you taken part in any other competitions since last year? Yes, Such I have. Um, I went to the Circus Tavern uh, two months ago and um, I've also been to three or four other ones scattered around near Stoke and um, Watford. Mm -hmm. And they've all been really promising for me. Got through a couple of rounds. Yeah. How long is it till you take part today? Um, it should be around an hour and a half to two hours, and I'll yeah. be on. So a bit of practice still. A bit of practice, yeah, definitely. Beginning to feel nervous. A little bit, but I know that this time I can definitely breeze through it. That's it, definitely. Well, best of luck, really. Thanks, Thank you, Andrew. Thank you very much. So we're joined with uh, another two players here at the Darts Classic. First, I was wondering if the both of you could uh, introduce yourselves. Right, I'm Conan Whitehead. Uh, I'm from Gillingham, Bricklayer. I'm Lewis McGurn from Chatham, Groundwater. Now, it was a couple of years or go or so that we spoke to you, so uh, how have things been going since then? Yeah, yeah not, not too bad. I just keep going local tournaments and big tournaments when we can. Um, just work gets in the way kind of thing but uh, yeah we, we try to get out as much as we can yeah so I've just qualified for the UK Open and uh, we're doing pretty well in the Challenge Tour now yeah 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 so, yeah, so uh, UK Open a couple of weeks time and uh, yeah just been practising a bit other than that not a lot it's just work and <laughs> how many years have you been coming to the Sheppey Darts Classic uh, I've been coming for the past six or seven years now same, same as, yeah, six, seven years since yeah. we started playing, yeah. We usually travel it. down together, so. Great weekend, just, like, wouldn't miss it, you know what I mean? Mm. It's just... How much preparation does it take to come to something like this? Um, well, you, 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 if, you, if you play darts, I mean, like, like we do, we, we play county, we play Super League, whatever, competitions, you're playing it every other day or every every weekend, so... You can you can put as much as you want in, but it's just all about holding your nerve when you get to yeah. the nitty gritty bits. You know what That's I mean? It. That's all it's all about. Coming back each year, you must see the familiar faces. Oh, without a doubt. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're all good know, most people have come down here anyway. Everyone, they're all good friends. You know? Yeah. That, that's what makes yeah. this competition. That's it. You know what that's I mean? That's what it, gets the atmosphere. Yeah. Every, everyone comes here every year and have a good banter, you have a good laugh. It, it's, it's just. But also, also, also it's, a very, it's a very good field down there. It's, Mm -hmm. It's not your, just your local players. You've got some brilliant players come down. I mean, you got Shane that won it last year. Oh right. And uh, he's coming down tomorrow, and he's playing absolutely awesome at the moment. If you play someone like that, you know you've got to play well mm. to win yeah. win the game. See, like tomorrow, then there may be ninety to a hundred entries, but you know you could pick twenty five out of them ninety who could win this tomorrow. Yeah. But it's all on the day. You know, That's it's, it. it's, it's it's one of them one of them things, but. No, I wouldn't miss this for the world, it's brilliant. Yeah, it's a good time. Yeah. Well, thank you for uh, taking the time out yeah, to speak to us. Cheers, mate. Right, so we're now going to be joined with one of the uh, youth players here at the Dance Classic. Firstly, would you be able to uh, introduce yourself for us? Uh, I'm Mars Avery, I'm 12 years old. Now, I understand you've just done, uh, just done well. Yeah, I struggled at first, but once I settled in, it was quite comfortable. So is this your first um, match at a competition like this? Um, I've done others before like this, but I've not done many. Are you um, hoping to um, carry on playing darts throughout the rest of this year? Uh, I would like to carry on playing, but depending on how it goes and how comfortable I feel with playing darts, we'll have to see. Well, thank you very much. So we're now joined with uh, Vince and we've caught up with Vince a couple of times over the years. Uh, yeah, a few times now. How are things going? Alright, yeah, yeah, not too bad. We uh, come here again this year, but yeah, we're sitting one open the other week and now, now this one, it's all close together, this is good. Are you in the pairs today? I am in the pairs, we just won our first one 3-0, me and Phil Wanstall from Sittingbourne, so uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. See what happens. How many years have you been coming to the darts classic? I think I've only ever missed one. I was on a holiday, so uh, yeah, I've done it every year now. Yeah. So yeah, I've done a right out of it as well in, in years. So plenty of practice building up to. Uh, I haven't. I've only got back <laughs> holiday yesterday. So oh. um, 
I haven't had much practice, but sometimes it helps the other yeah. way. Sometimes it's better not to. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you only play locally in Kent, or do you travel all over? No, the I do travel all over. I um, I play for Kent. And we travel all over the UK. We're playing the British Premier League, so mm-hmm. uh, it's all over the UK, Yorkshire, and places like that competition wise don't really do that many competitions because of work and that um, do local ones sit in Bourne Sheppey try and get out to a few more got another one over in Wainscott I think in a couple of weeks they haven't known about one over there so yeah just whenever I can really where would be the furthest you've travelled what to play to play in an open would be oh York, uh, Yarmouth Great Yarmouth oh, yeah. big one every year up there um, playing for Kent Yorkshire Lancashire we, we, we played at I played at Lancashire a couple of months ago mm-hmm. playing up there, so. how long have you been playing darts uh, 25 about 26 years now 26 years this year yeah Jesus <laughs> plenty of practice then uh, yeah <laughs> yeah. don't play as much as what I used to but um, yeah it's finding the time yeah. yeah and money obviously as well that's the so, problem yeah Vince has uh, always thank you for uh, speaking to us alright thank you all right. So we're now talking to uh, Shell here at the Darts uh, Classic, and uh, you were just letting us know you're uh, a spectator. So, uh, is there anyone particular you've come along to watch? Uh, yes, we've come along to support four of our boys in Thanet Youth Darts Academy: uh, Ben Cunningham, Miles Avery, Kenton Bush, and Harry Gilson. And they've played in both the singles and the youth today. So we've come along to support them. What does it take to build? Uh, one of these academies up what does it involve okay it, well, it, a lot of paperwork <laughs> um, a lot of health and safety issues and obviously they're young people mm-hmm. aged 11 to 18 and it started off with about five children that were young people that were interested in playing darts and it's grown and we've now got about 14 youths uh, three of them actually play for Kent um, uh, five of them all together play in uh, Kent uh, um, local darts leagues on Monday and Tuesday nights to gain some experience so they're doing really well what sort of age range aged 11 to 18 oh right yep boys and girls yeah so um yeah and any ability as I say we've we've got some members that have just been playing darts a couple of months and and then as I say we've got some of our our older uh, members that are as I say have been playing about four or four or five years now is this the first sort of thing that they've attended as a um, competition wise no they have played they play locally at Minster in Thanet they have uh, one, a once a month tournament there so they usually play in that and they have played I think at Sittingbourne and we're all going down to Selsey in Hampshire in September for the I think it's the England Classic or the England Open there we're taking the boys with us to that. Yeah. Darts no, certainly seems popular. We were just saying that a minute ago out there. There's actually quite a lot of youth players here today. Yes, there is. I, I think it has become more popular, I've got to say, since it's Sky Sports have televised it and maybe the darts players have become more like celebrity focused. So the, the young people are, are catching on to that. Mm-hmm. Have you got a following of darts? Do you? Do you play at all? I don't play at all, no. My son used to play. My husband plays in local darts teams. And it was his idea to to set up the academy just as an alternative for for young people, you know, to to do something different. If they they didn't want to do uh, football or rugby or something, maybe they'd like to to try their hand at that. And it's been very successful. Good. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. So we're now talking to uh, Michelle here at the Darts uh, Classic, and uh, you were just letting us know that you're um, you're you're one of the mothers of the youth players. Yes, I am. Yes, yes. Miles Avery, he's twelve. He's been playing since he was about three, um, and he plays for Thanet Darts Youth Academy. Three? That's quite an early age. To he had be his first darts. magnetic dartboard at three years old, wow. and he has never looked back since. That's a- <laughs> great that he's carried it on from such an early age absolutely yeah it's it rules his life at times i think but um you know homework has got to get in there somewhere and does he travel around all different parts of kent to take he he does um i um take him wherever he needs to go really because Mm. it's something that he likes to do and darts is such an upcoming sport that it's a really good thing to get the children involved in where would be the furthest that you've traveled to take him um Probably when we went to Colchester, that's not too far, but mm-hmm. it was a long trek, especially when we had a flat tyre on the way there and we <laughs> ran out of petrol on the way back. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I bet this is a good one to do because it's quite a big 
competition that's relatively near to you. It's not too bad, yes. Um, we, you know, anywhere we want to go. We went to Sittingbourne not long ago. Um, we've been to the Kent in Folkestone as well. So, yeah, we'll go anywhere it needs to go, really. Mm-hmm. And we're going to Selsey as well um, in September. How often does he practice? Every day. And is he part of a, and any other team? Because he's part of the academy, you say. He plays on a Monday night for um, a um, pub, Australian Arms, in Man- in. Ramsgate and um, he also plays for the Chiltern Tavern in Ramsgate on a Tuesday night. Right. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. So we're now joined with um, William. Um, is this the first time you've been to the Darts Classic here in Laysdale? Yes, it is the first time today. Yeah. What have you made of it so far? I, I think it's fantastic. It's a very nice venue. Yeah. How long have you been playing darts? I've been playing darts for about 20 years now. Oh, right. And you say you came from Seven Oaks, so Seven quite Oaks. a travel to come to Ladysdown. Yep. Are you part of a team? No, two, well, I, I play in Seven Oaks League, yeah. and two of us come down a day. I come down by train mm-hmm. to, to see a bomb, and then got picked up from see a bomb down to here. That's it, yeah. And one of the things we uh, often asked is, um, do you have a special set of doubts? I have two, two darts that I use, right. um, a set of dart nines, a 23 gram, and a set of 23 gram, uh, I think they're um, a Bristow type dart, or uh, a Way 50 type dart, which are the same, but it's all like barrel, and I've been thrown in for about the last year to eight eight months um my stepson who is clive barden hot dog he he got to lakeside uh, about two years ago and he actually gave me the diet nines and uh, since then i've been throwing those but um uh, i change my diets about every six to eight months it all depends on how i'm throwing or how i'm playing what's going through my mind yeah just looking at your T-shirt there, you've got a couple of sponsors. Are they uh, sponsors to you specifically? No, I I uh, played Steve Beaton in an exposition last month, or sorry, this month, and uh, I brought this shirt when I was there. Oh, right. And I I was the only one on the night that actually beat Steve Beaton, so yeah. I'm quite proud of that. <laughs> Do you take part in these sort of competitions regularly? Yes, I play quite a few competitions yeah. around the uh, county. I've been to Breen Sands, played in a couple of content for the BDO down there. Um, I've been to uh, watch Clive at Bolton. Uh, played in Clacton. Uh, yeah, I, I travel quite a bit, yeah. and I, I, I enjoy my darts. Good. Well, thank you for uh, taking the time out today to uh, talk to us. Thank you very much.